Okay, uh, so hello again. Uh, welcome to my presentation. Uh, today's topic is uh, what's coming to the semantic web in 2024. Probably, probably. Um, it will mainly concern uh, updates to standards uh, that are related to the semantic web and also to some libraries that mostly mostly those that we use uh, in our research or work. So uh, I will talk about RDF, <clears throat> RDF schema, Sparkle, and then changes to Jena and RDF4j. Uh, there's actually not that much. Uh, all of these standards uh, will be really, maybe, uh, that's, that's uh, probably one thing I should mention in the beginning. All of these changes are still or the new versions of these standards are, are still in the draft state and there is no deadline uh, until which they should be published. So it's not completely sure that uh, these new versions will come out in 2024. Uh, but on the other hand, there aren't, there aren't that many changes. Uh, all of these are just minor updates, uh, you know, from RDF 1.1 to 1.2, same goes for Sparkle. So, uh, and from what I could find out, there are big changes. So it's it's possible that uh, the timeline will be shorter and we could get these new versions in 2024. Uh, so anyway, let me get uh, to the actual changes. Uh, so for RDF 1.2, which is the base base standard for for the semantic web uh, the biggest changes uh, are probably what's based on rdf star which was a working group uh, or a recent working group uh, for rdf and the output of this uh, rdf star which will become a part of rdf 1.2 is what they called uh, what they call it quoted triples I will get to those uh, in a minute. Otherwise, we get uh, we get new data types, uh, official new data types, which is RDF HTML, RDF XML liter, which were already uh, kind of in, in in the standard in RDF, but now they get a more precise definition. And uh, also uh, new data type RDF JSON, which is based on the JSON LD specification. All of these uh, I will talk about in a minute. Otherwise, uh, there's also uh, support for directionality in, in language strings, uh, which can be specified directly in, in the language tag. And also a change in terminology, where now a data set can also be considered a set of quads, which means that uh, it, it could be, it's not just a set of triples or a, a named graph, containing a set of triples, but you can directly say that the data set uh, is a set of quads where you get the subject predicate object and the fourth component uh, is the name of the of the name graph. Yeah, so so these are the these are the at least currently these are the, uh, the most uh, the most prominent changes uh, in the standard uh, which are expected to to become uh, part of it. Yeah. Um, but uh, let's go for into some details, especially regarding the quoted triples. Uh, as I said, uh, they are based on the RDF star um, working proposal or proposal. And what bas the basic or the gist of it is that uh, they uh, allow to make statements about other statements. Uh, the, the most classic example that they use is that you can say that uh, something is true according to someone yeah so so in this uh in this example here um we get this uh oh no i i messed up the presentation i'm sorry this should be this shouldn't shouldn't be asserted triple but uh a quoted triple yeah so so this is the triple that is being quoted by by this this another triple yeah so so um we are saying that the sky has color blue according to someone. Yeah, so, so this is the quoted triple. Um, 
uh, quality triples do, do not uh, participate in uh, in inference. Um, so what you can uh, you you can get is uh, something which is so shown here. Again, the the notes are incorrect. I will fix that later uh, in the presentation. So so this is an asserted triple, and we can also use it as a quoted triple in in the statement that uh, according to someone. Uh, this is the uh, the statement this uh, is true yes so it's uh it's an art alternative to rdf reification it, it's uh, this is stated in in the rdf star uh proposal uh which makes sense because rdf reification never was really very well defined and it was quite cumbersome to use uh this on the other hand looks very easy uh, it will be supported by all, all the main serializations of, uh, of RDF and uh, because it's based on RDF star, it's already supported by, by Genite RDF4J, for example, because they added the support for uh, RDF star uh, recently. So you can, you can just start using it if you use these libraries and you don't have to wait for, for the standard. Basically, what's what's in RDF star, from what I uh, could uh, could understand, what's in RDF star will become uh, part of RDF, uh, the main standard. Okay. Um, the other the other change is uh, are the new built-in data types. Uh, it's not shouldn't be probably very surprising the how they look. So I have. Uh, I have two examples here for RDF HTML and RDF JSON. Basically, it's that you can use uh, JSON or HTML literal or XML uh, literal as a uh, as a as an object in in a triple. Yeah. So uh, and they actually the standard says that this value uh, has to be a valid HTML or has to be a valid uh, JSON according to their uh, respective specifications yeah so uh so these are the these are the new built-in data types uh, as i said uh, for example rdf html was uh to some extent already mentioned in rdf 1.1 1 .1, uh, but now it gets more precise definition uh, for rdf json that's new and that's based on the json early specification which uh, first introduced this data type Okay, um, regarding the serializations, they will also get uh, 1.2 uh, releases. Uh, the biggest changes uh, are, are basically just uh, aligning with, with the changes in RDF, which mostly mean adding support for quoted triples. Um, in n triples and n quads, there is also some harmonization of of treatment of white spaces and comments with uh, with TTL with Turtle. Uh, Turtle, in addition, uh, adds something that they called annotated triples, uh, which is basically a, 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 a syntactic sugar for using quoted triples. So, so here's, here's an example that you have this quoted triple, and you write the triple that is quoting it in in these uh, curly brackets and, and pipes. Um, so it's just a syntactic, uh, a different syntax for uh, for using quoted triples. Nothing, nothing, nothing really else. Uh, uh, RDF XML doesn't have any significant changes uh, as far as I, I was able to find. And uh, Drake also doesn't have any any significant changes. They they just uh, they have some changes in the terminology, some some cleanup, uh, but nothing really in, in the function. Okay, uh, as far as uh, as far as I was able to find, nothing new is in, in the semantics of RDF. Uh, it's still the same, or it will be the same uh, as it is. Currently, uh, for RDF schema, they just added the RDF JSON class uh, to the uh, to the classes in the schema. Uh, nothing else. Uh, RDF HTML and RDF XML literal were already classes in, in RDF schema 1.1. 1 
Okay. Uh, coming hand in hand with uh, changes to RDF are also changes to Sparkle and Sparkle update. Uh, I wasn't able to find any news for uh, the Sparkle protocol or uh, the JSON, XML, and uh, CSV uh, Sparkle, Sparkle results, which have also their own standards. So there's nothing new in these like uh, auxiliary uh, Sparkle uh, specifications, but in, in Sparkle itself, uh, there is obviously uh, added support for the quoted strings. Uh, which can be uh, seen in in the example in the example here. Uh, so uh, you can either you can either use the TTL based syntax in the double uh, less than and greater than uh, signs, or you you can use uh, the new functions which corresponds to uh, the quoted strings. So one is uh, the function called triple, which is the same as the as the parentheses or the less than and greater than syntax up here. So that's that's basically completely the same. And there are also new functions which allow you to access the uh, particulars of of the triple. So you have a function for subject, predicate, object, and also you can check that something is a triple. So these are the new functions that are coming to uh, to to Sparkle. Um, quoted, oh sorry, quoted triples, of course. Yeah, it's quoted triples. Uh, I, I want to update the presentation. Okay. Um, other two new functions are RDF term equal, uh, which is basically just a formalization of of the equals operator um, and the other new function is si same term uh, which can be used to compare uh, compare values of unsupported data types so if you if you use a data type which is not recognized by by sparkle or the sparkle engine that you use uh, like in this example down here uh, the kilos uh, data type is not recognized by Sparkle, you can use the same term function to compare values using this data type. Uh, for the equal, uh, the RDF term equal, uh, they just basically, the specification of the function says that uh, RDF term equal returns true when uh, the two values are equal according to the rules of, of the data type. Yeah, so in the uh, in this example here, it means that uh, the data type, which is XSD date time, allows you to compare values uh, which have a different literal, but their uh, interpretation is the same because it's just a different time zone. Yeah, but the values are are the same. So this is just a formalization of the semantics of the operator. You could of, co of course use the, the function explicitly, but uh, it doesn't really doesn't really make much sense, I guess. Okay, um, I think that's all for the standards. Um, now a quick 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 overview of, of changes in in the libraries that we use. Uh, this, these are the the Java libraries. I, I wasn't really looking into uh, libraries in, in other languages uh, because we, as far as I know, we don't don't really use them. Uh, so, so for Jenna, uh, Jenna will be releasing version five uh, in the near future. Uh, the biggest change probably is that it will require Java 17 uh, to run. Uh, they they say that they start using it quite extensively in the code base, so so they will require Jenna uh, Java 17. Jenna 4, which is the current version, requires Java Java 11. Um, they will do some changes which should uh, uh, to processing of language text, which should uh, be more in line with uh, with the RDF standards. So first of all, the uh, language tag will language text will now become in case insensitive. Uh, so comparing language text should be should be easier. 
and uh, based on their documentation internally, they will be normalized to uh, this RFC uh, form, which is basically that EN will become an GB as far as I know. Um, also going uh, uh, the string based direction, which is what uh, which is coming to RDF can be used in the language tag or specified in the language tag uh, uh, after two, uh, two dashes. So something like that. This means that it's English and it's left to right. It's the normal way of uh, writing English. Um, so this this will be supported in Jena 5. Also, they will switch completely to JSON LD 1.1, uh, and they will be using only titanium JSON LD. So uh, currently, in Jena 4, uh, you can uh, you can choose whether you use uh, titanium JSON LD or uh, the JSON LD Java. But uh, JSON LD Java uh, has stopped being developed. Uh, I think one or two years ago, there are no, no new changes and it's still stuck at uh, JSON LD 1.0. Uh, there, there are some, some pull requests for adding support for 1.1, but uh, it's not being worked on anymore. Uh, so, so they are switching to Titanium, which supports JSON LD 1.1. Um, also, they are switching to uh, the Jakarta namespaces. So if you use Fuseki and uh, Fuseki will be updated to JT12, I think is, is the default uh, uh, default uh, application server they, they use. But if you use Fuseki as a, as a war file, then it, you, will, uh, you will have to use Tomcat 10 or, or 11, which is I think in beta currently um, because of the change uh, in the namespaces. Okay, uh, there's also a new uh, RDF XML parser called RRX, uh, which is, I think, more strict in, in the validation of the input, uh, but also it's supposed to be uh, much faster than, than the old one. Um, and obviously, since it's a, it's a major release, there, there are some removals in, in the deprecated, deprecated APIs. Uh, as far as RDF4J is concerned, uh, they have a new uh, vocabulary, vocabulary for, for configuration. It actually is supported already in, in RDF4J4, uh, but in RDF4J5, uh, they will drop support for the old one. So the old vocabulary is the uh, openrdf.org config slash, and there are some sub vocabularies of, of this one. Uh, this is what you would use in the TTL file de defining the configuration of, of a repository. So this will now be replaced by this new uh, vocabulary IRI, which looks like this. So it's tag uh, colon rd4j.org, uh, comma 2023, uh, colon config. Uh, so it's under one, uh, under one vocabulary. Uh, there is a there is an example in uh, in the pull request and the, uh, and I think even in the in the note to the milestone one of the milestone that has already been released for RDA for J5. Uh, they will be also uh, extending support for shekel, uh, especially the predicates like equals and less than. Uh, they will also update to the Jakarta namespaces. And uh, as usual, there will be removals in, in the precated APIs. Most notably, uh, the iteration interface it will be replaced by the uh, closable iteration interface, uh, which uh, I think the biggest change in this is that uh, there will be fewer uh, checked exceptions uh, in the interface. Uh, so you so you don't have to uh, wrap all these uh, operations with these iterations in in try catch uh, in, in Java. And I guess that's that's all I could find for for the upcoming changes to the standards. There's no really uh, nothing really uh, major in in all API. I find 
found there is a there is a project in the OAPI GitHub repository for OAPI six, but the project has the last change in that project is from twenty eighteen I think. Uh, so they I guess they just uh, changed the strategy and they are sticking with OAPI five. Uh, they just uh, do the changes under that. So if I remember correctly, OAPI five. 5.1.20 uh, was supporting uh, uh, was supporting uh, Java 8, and 5.5.0 requires Java 11. So that was that was the biggest change, I think. Um, otherwise, I couldn't really find any any big changes in that. Um, no, nothing new for JSON LD, as far as I know. Nothing new for all. Uh, or Shekel. So um, I, I think that's that's it for for the changes, and that's all for, for what I wanted to tell you about today. So if you have any questions, I would try to answer. Thanks. Thank you very much, Martin, for your uh, presentation. Uh, I think it was quite interesting. Uh, uh, do you have any questions, any of you? Yeah, thanks as well. Very, very nice. Uh, yes, I have a lot of questions, very, but very little ones. Um, maybe, for example, go to slide where you quoted in Turtle. <coughs> So you said that this is syntactic sugar for, but I'm not sure for what. Uh, is it is it for quoting or uh, I mean is it for assertion and quoting or for a quoting? Uh, I think it's just for for quoting. Okay. Can you okay? Can you go that's back there? Yeah. So so that's for for this syntax. <coughs> they change it. Uh, mm -hmm. this so you don't put dot there you don't uh, yeah okay uh, it's quite strange for me so yeah. when you when you remove the parentheses you it's it's asserted when you put the parentheses it stops being asserted and it's quoted okay yeah I think uh, maybe this this is not <laughs> the best example but what uh, what this this syntax allows you to do is put multiple statements in the in the parentheses so instead of having to repeat this uh, the quoted triple multiple times uh, you can just write it once and uh, add uh, triples here that quote that, uh, that single triple yeah so, so this this example is probably not good because there's just one in here uh, but you can have multiple in here uh, in the parentheses that's uh, that's probably the biggest like uh, improvement uh, or change uh, for the annotated triples. I see, I see. So this quoted triple is just subject, and yeah, the, that's all. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can use uh, you can use quoted <laughs> triples also in object position, obviously, subject or object, as far as I know. Okay, I have a question. For what is the uh, usage for this? Because I just uh, think this is the same like uh, having it in some uh, specific context, or is it something else? No, no. This is no. This is in the this is this is RDF verification. Yeah. So, so you are basically saying that there is a statement, and this there is uh, a note, RDF note. Uh, of type statement which has a connection to sky and it is subject connection to has color it is predicate and connection to blue which is object and this statement was was said according to tom yeah yeah uh, another example of, of using this uh, either verification or uh triple voting uh, could be provenance information. You can say when a certain statement was created and who created it. 
Okay, uh, I, the question is, so if I have uh, two quoted uh, statements, uh, that sky has blue color and sky is red color according to Tom and uh, someone else, yep. and I uh, put a sparkle query, uh, what color has sky? What, mm. I, what did I get? What do I get? Both or none or I, I don't know. Uh, you will get both. Because the according to it's it doesn't really uh, participate in uh, in inference, for example. It's just mm -hmm. it's basically annotation, as far as I understand. Okay. Uh, so so you can ask for for the annotations as well in Sparkle, but uh, they are not uh, like part of of the data set or the or of the data okay. that, that you work with. Okay, so that means that uh, it's just the annotation that does not uh, count into uh, any inferencing. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, do you think that this could be useful in uh, permit annotator? Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't really. I haven't really thought about it. Um, we can. We could look into that. Uh, but I'm not sure. I, I mean, this is syntactic sugar, so it doesn't change anything, basically. Only when you are using the TTL format, then no, when no, it's but useful. I think Michal, Michal means quoted triples in general, right, Michal? Yes, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah um, but it is, again, it is syntactic sugar, so it's nothing new. No, it's it's not. Oh, so no, in, not, not for Termit. So we are not asking for use in Termit, but in general. That's what you're asking, Michal. No, Michal no, is I was not. asking if those quoted triples could be used in Termit annotation. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I don't think so, because uh, the, day, uh, the stuff that we annotate is not RDF. What we annotate is text. It's text. Yeah. Or what we do with it is uh, we transform it to HTML or we expect it yeah. to be HTML, but it's still, it's not RDF. So I don't think uh, I and don't it's, think it would help us uh, in annotations. And it's still RDFA in the term it? Yeah. Yeah. So if it supports in RDFA, maybe it could be used. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about, that uh, maybe we could uh, <clears throat> dig a little bit deeper just uh, in order to use this if you want to but this would require to change probably the uh, the resource we are annotating the resource type uh, i i don't think it would work because we are annotating strings not yes. strings. yeah so so we are one level over we create rdf that is connected to string. What this allows us to do would be create RDF that is connected to, an, uh, to other RDF. So okay. I, don't, I don't believe it, it would help us in, in the annotation. OK, thank you. Or, or in annotation. Yeah, OK. Then I would like to ask about those names Spaces in RDF. I was not sure if I understood this. Yeah. So 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 you said that there was some namespace, and now it's split into two namespaces, and oh, one of them no. is this, this. is the old. You mean this one? The yeah. 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 This is the old. Uh, the two stars here are uh, wildcard because you you have uh, yes. multiple sub sub namespaces. And mm -hmm. all of these are now replaced by this one. Uh, they actually, uh, I, I can. Uh... What the heck is it? Is it not URL anymore or what? It is. It actually, I, uh, it's a weird syntax, but it is. Uh, and they, they quote it in, uh, in the issue. I don't know if it's the issue or the. Yeah, 
this one. Okay, so ah, so it will be in the issue described, I think. Yeah. So th this is the old way. So you can see that you have multiple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah. Have multiple namespaces for different parts of the configuration of the sale. And now it is all replaced by this shared base namespace. And you just use dot something to uh, like define the, the, uh, the individual configuration values. It, it, is is sale dot type is dot somehow interpreted differently than I think? Um, they say that this is uh, URI supported. Yeah. So so basically they they use a new, they define a new scheme as I understand it. Yeah. And the scheme is called tag. What's weird is that they use uh, commas in in the URI, but. This is really crazy to me. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. What, what, what's the reasoning behind doing such a thing? Yeah, I, uh, I guess they wanted just a single namespace for everything, and they just want use the dot to separate parts of that namespace. But how this is different from? Before, if if I would put one namespace there, I I still don't get it. But I guess it doesn't matter. Is there a specification for this new? Uh, it must be right for this new uh, URL. So Martin, if I would if I would change this prefix config and I would write HTTP. Uh, slash slash something something config how this would change it something would not work or yeah it wouldn't work because oh, okay that's this is what i don't understand so yeah oh, okay yeah. I, you have to use this namespace yeah 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 i know i know but uh, is it interpreted in some way together with this dot yeah you have to the values have to match so the the value is this and this is edit, They're like normal pref prefix uh, usage. So you, you get this this as the pref uh, as the namespace, and this is the local value, basic local name. And if you don't use it correctly, don't don't use the correct prefix, and don't use the correct names, then RDF4J will not be able to interpret the configuration. Okay. Yopa actually does support this new configuration already because, as I said, it's uh, it's already added in uh, RDF for J4. Uh, <coughs> what they are going to do is just stop supporting the old configuration and just use the new one. But they, they already support the new one as well. They just want to remove support for the old one. I have also a short question about uh, the support for these new features. Uh, I'm interested in GraphDB and those RTF 1.2. Uh, so uh, do you know something about uh, the plan support uh, for GraphDB? Uh, I don't, but uh, GraphDB usually sticks with RDF4J. Uh, they just are I don't know, maybe, maybe one or two versions behind uh, because they want to have obviously a stable and tested uh, version of RDF4J. So as soon as RDF4J does support uh, the new RDF features, they uh, they will support it very quickly as well, I think. But uh, as far as I know, uh, as I said, the, the quoted triples, that's basically RDF star. And RDF4J already supports RDF star. As for, uh, so GraphDB as, as well should support RDF star. Yeah, I think that uh, GraphDB have some uh, implementations uh, that are over the standards and maybe something from those uh, implementations are uh, now uh, implemented back into RDF4J or something like that, is it possible to? 
Mm, I don't think that happens. They usually uh, add their own stuff, which is the commercial yeah. part of. Uh, they have uh, some extensions, definitely, and I. They do have some extensions, but they they put it. They don't put them back into idea for j Yeah. Like if I just uh, have the feeling, uh, no, I'm not really sure yeah. about that, but I have the feeling that something uh, from the RDF uh, 1.2 you have uh, showed us uh, is already implemented as the extension in GrabDB. I'm not really sure, but I think it's, uh, it's maybe possible. Well, uh, that's probably RDF star and that's based on RDF for J's. Okay. 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 Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's it. Yeah. 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 Okay. But, I mean, they, they do contribute to RDF for J. Uh, but I don't think it's in the way that they backport something from from Gardia, uh, from GraphDB to RDF4J. They just uh, if they see something that that they believe is useful or if they find some issue, they they just die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just think that uh, you know some features are just the uh, uh, logical consequences of of something, and yeah. uh, this is the only way where the. Uh, uh, where you can go if you want to enhance it somehow. So maybe it was enhanced uh, in GrabDB already, and now it's uh, getting back to the standard. Uh, I'm not really sure if they are doing it the same way, but uh, they are doing the support for the same features. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's very likely. And as I said, uh, these quoted triples they are based on RDF star, and there was a working group for that. Um, and just instead of doing a new standard, they they are just taking it and adding it to to the base RDF standard. Uh, that's my understanding of, of RDF star and the quoted triples. Perfect. Thanks. Any other questions, oh, on Martin? Well, I have some, but let's let's ask two more. And uh, so, so I just want to know. So this won't be referenceable any de de referenceable anymore. This config pre new config prefor, uh, prefix, right? Do I understand I it correctly? So. No, they, they are they they are removing those. You say that they they are replacing them. Yeah, yeah. because you cannot de reference duck duck. Uh, Semicolon. I mean, uh, yeah. You can't, you can't use this one either because they don't control the open RDF domain. So okay. it makes no sense they're referencing it. Okay. Okay. And this is apparently a valid URI. It's, it may not be a URL, but it's a URI. I, I have no, I don't get it at all why this is happening. This is like so strange to me. Uh, but But okay. Okay, I understand. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> so yeah, maybe I'll ask about uh, what is is there need for Yopa to support something like I don't know those literals of HTML JSON? Will you need to implement it somehow, or is it to some extent supported now? I believe maybe it is or not. Yeah. Mm, well, you can. It's basically a string, so you just the field would be a string, and you just specify the data type. Uh, I don't, I don't see any any necessity to mm -hmm. specify. Only, vali only, only validation, only validation could be useful. We yeah, but like okay, you can validate it uh, using other libraries, existing libraries. So I don't, I don't see any, any need to do that. Okay, and only the last thing. So, so the JSON tag really means JSON and not JSON LD, right? Well, JSON LD is is JSON. So I know. So that's just, why I'm that's why I'm asking. So, yeah, no, so no, they they want it's really JSON. They just okay. want to be more generic. So okay. it's as long as it's valid JSON. Yep. Uh, okay. They are they are content. Okay, thanks.